Hey everyone, Percy here. So today we're going to talk about emails. Now, we all have to deal with emails nowadays. It's become part of our lives. Now, it is important to manage our emails well, otherwise we get overwhelmed pretty quickly, right? So for that reason, it is important to choose a good email client to help us do exactly that. So today we're going to talk about the five best email clients, especially for Windows, that can help us manage our emails. So without any further ado, let's go. Okay, now, of course, you could just use an online email client like Gmail or Outlook, but first of all, you might not want to open your browser every time that you want to check your emails. And second of all, those online email clients usually aren't the best for if you have multiple email accounts with different providers. So today we're only going to focus on desktop email applications and as I mentioned, especially focused on Windows. All right, now the first one on the list is a pretty obvious one. It is actually the built-in mail application that comes with Windows. Windows 10 to be precise. Um, and it's very appropriately called Mail. Now the advantages of using Mail is first of all the price. Because it comes with your Windows 10 operating system, you don't have to pay anything for it, or at least you don't have to pay anything extra for it. So in a way, it is absolutely free. Uh, integration is going to be a plus. Because it is a Windows application, it is bound to be better integrated into your Windows ecosystem than basically any other email application. Um, it is pretty modern looking, nothing wrong with that. It's also pretty easy to use, easy to understand. So it's a good email application, nothing really wrong with it, but some may feel it lacks a little bit in features here and there. Some may have some other reasons why they might wanna take a look at some alternatives. So let's take a look at some now. All right, next one on the list is EM Client. Now, EM Client has been around for a pretty long time, since 2007. It is available on both Mac and Windows, and it has a pretty slick, modern-looking interface. It's probably also the most premium-looking interface of all the email clients in this list. Now, EM Client also has some pretty amazing features built in. So to give you a few examples, uh, it's very high on message encryption. Uh, also, apart from the calendar, um, it also has a pretty decent task manager built in. Um, the contact section also has a communication history. So for each contact, you can see what the communication uh, history is between you and that contact. Um, it also has a pretty good uh, note taking feature built in and it also supports chat so you can use different services like Google Talk, Jabber and basically any XMPP based service. All right, next one on the list is Mailbird. Now, Mailbird is available on Windows, Windows 10, not yet on Mac, but apparently they're working on it, so keep an eye out for that. Now, Mailbird has a very nice modern looking interface. Very often it is labeled as lightweight, a lightweight email client. I'd say, yeah, it feels pretty lightweight, as in, you know, it's very obviously aimed at ease of use. So it is easy to use, easy to set up. Uh, also, it feels very uncluttered. So it is pretty lightweight that way. But I don't think that many users will feel that there is anything lacking or not a lot anyway. It's a pretty full featured email client. Now, Mailbird is very big on customization, so you can customize the colors, you can customize the layout. It also comes with a lot of third-party applications built into it, like Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Dropbox, Google Docs, Google Calendar, and a lot more. Now, it also comes with some nice little features like the unified inbox, which is one inbox for all your email accounts. Um, there's the snooze functionality, so you can have emails pop up at a later moment at your convenience. Uh, there is the inline reply feature, which means that if you get an email, which is actually a thread of messages that were sent back and forth to different people maybe, you can reply to only one specific message within that whole thread. So very useful. Uh, attachments, you can search attachments, you can um, preview attachments, you can drag and drop attachments. You know, so Mailbird comes with all kinds of neat little features like that. 
Okay, moving on to the next and that is Blue Mail. Now, Blue Mail is available anywhere. It is available on Windows, Mac, iOS, Android and even Linux. So it's truly a cross-platform email client. Now Blue Mail also has a pretty smooth looking interface and it is just a very capable email client for most people with some very nice features. It also has a unified inbox. It has a read later function which is very similar to the snooze functionality in Mailbird but it takes it just a little step further. It also has a later board as they call it um, where you can manage all the emails that you've snoozed in a way so you can see exactly uh, which emails you still need to read and when uh, what you've already done so it's kind of a to-do list based on all the messages that you've snoozed so that's pretty clever now blue mail also has clusters so you can stack all emails from the same sender or group so that you can see the entire communication history you've had with a person or a group of senders very useful and you can also send emails through various social networks or messaging apps such as Facebook Twitter LinkedIn WhatsApp you know so that's a very interesting feature okay last one on the list I just couldn't not mention it is of course Mozilla Thunderbird now Thunderbird has been around for a long long time it's been around since 2003 according to Wikipedia. Uh, it is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. And the difference between Thunderbird and all the other ones in this list is that Thunderbird is free and open source. So as you can also read on their website, so at the heart of Thunderbird is an open source development process driven by thousands of passionate experienced developers and security experts spread all over the world. Now the fact that Thunderbird is open source of course comes with a few consequences. Now first of all some might argue that it might not be the most modern looking interface out there and also even though it's already pretty feature packed it may lack some of the latest fancy new features. Now on the other hand because it is open source with such a huge community behind it it is always constantly developing and by the way at the moment, as it stands, it already offers more than enough for most people. It already has for almost two decades. Now, just to name a few features that set Thunderbird apart. First of all, the add-ons. Now, in the beginning, Thunderbird was kind of modeled after the Firefox browser. And in the latest version, you can still see some evidence of that. Now, one of the aspects where it becomes kind of apparent is the add-ons functionality. So from within the program itself, you can download tons of add-ons. Now, another thing is the RSS functionality. Um, so you can very easily set up some news feeds and categorize them in this program. And then probably my personal favorite feature the tabs. So anything you open in Thunderbird, whether it's an email or the settings or a news feed, whatever it is, it will open in its own dedicated new tab, just like we're used to in most web browsers. And to be honest, I just don't understand why not every email client works like that, because it just makes so much sense, don't you think? Anyway, that is my top five desktop email clients in no particular order, by the way. But anyway, what do you think? What do you think of this top five? And what is your favorite desktop email client? Let me know, leave a comment below. For now, I'm gonna say thank you for watching and I'm gonna talk to you in the next video.